Now six times, I think. And uh, if any, if if you uh, like what I have to say, then uh, you can thank my wife Margaret because she decided that I should come. And if you don't like what I have to say, you can blame her. <laughs> Um, anyway, it's a pleasure to be here, and I see a lot of young people in the audience, and so I think I will make a presentation particularly for them. Um, I, I'm going to talk about our discovery um, of the Buckyball C60, uh, which was dis uh, in outer space. But before that, I'm going to talk about science and some contributions of science to society. I want you to realize just how important they have been. Let's think about anesthetics. There were no mobile phones in the 18th century. These drawings by Rowlandson tell us what it was like to have an amputation without an anesthetic. I want you to look at this and say how grateful you are to chemistry. Women would have mastectomies without an anesthetic. There can be no more humanitarian contribution than the gift of anesthetics to society of chemistry. That's one reason for doing it. Uh, <laughs> आप पूर्वी शस्त्रीय राज्य भाई क्या या भूल दर्ज ना भाई क्या आने तेजा मोड़े हाथाल सर पे हाथाल पाल कहीं साला पाल कहीं साला पाल कापाल लगला तब जब का आपन भूल दर्ज था रेस्टिंग के नज़र जब का शस्त्रीय किलिया इतना कितनी चांस होती है कि करना ही कर सकता कि मिस्ट्री मोड़े रेस्टिंग के दिले शोध ल People pray for miracles. They're ill and they pray. And it doesn't work. But what works is this molecule. This is chemistry. This very simple molecule. Put your hand up if you've had an antibiotic. Can you put your hands up? Okay. It works. This is blood poisoning in 1942. A year earlier, this girl would have died. But in three weeks, she was cured by penicillin. You should recognize that bacteria are evolving with an immunity to antibiotics. Think about it. We may be going back to this. We want clever young people like you, youngsters here in the audience, to find the antibiotics of the future. Because there are big problems coming. परिस्थिति शेयर लिया है कि बैक्टीरिया जीवाणु जा है ये आजू बुझा रोज चल ले आनी सभी के एंटीबॉडीज़ का दांत देख नहीं मां आता आपने तो नवीन शासन नहीं कर दे दूसरा के शासन नहीं कर दे है कि नवीन एंटीबॉडीज़ शुरू कर दी आनी तानी कि नवीन यहां नवीन जीवाणु तो नाश हो चुके Chemistry is dangerous. There are some going to be some bad problems in the future. Some problems like thalidomide and Bhopal. Those were terrible tragedies. But if they decided... There would be no chemistry there would be no airplanes. Might be a good thing today. But, that also, all of these would disappear. Just look at these on the screen. They're disappearing. Without chemistry, 
our modern world would not be there. All gone. The twenty first century is exciting. It's the it's the century of molecular machines in your body. Hemoglobin is a molecular machine. ATP synthase is a molecular machine. I don't know whether it will work, but let's see whether it does. Hello. Here, you can hear. We got one that works. Here. Okay. Try this. Okay. This is an electric motor driven by protons inside your body. These little machines are inside that you make you work. Nanotechnology inside your body is already there. It's not new. Life already worked out how to make nanotechnology and nanoscale machines. Try this. This works. Don't worry. Just try it. Don't work okay. until it fixes. Uh, he electric motor grew up again. The apple is shattered. The protons move. Uh, it's all day. Manje, nature. Apple nanotechnology. She can't do garas. Nahi hai. The one nanotechnology scale over. The the one lahan lahan machines. Nature can't make already. The normal group have only ahead. Ani fakta apple la. That's how you. Itar jay. Itar gushti tere kaise karta hi. He apple showing karay jaye. This screen's not working, is it? <laughs> okay, well, let's go on. And what is a scientist? This is the most important thing I'm going to tell you now. From all over the world, from Spain, from Ireland, from Syria, Holland, Taiwan, Mexico, and India. When you're a scientist, you're not just an Indian. You're one of a great global community. So, when you're a scientist, you're not just an Indian. You're one of a great global community. So, when you're a scientist, you're not just an Indian. You're one of a great global community. So, when you're a scientist, you're not just an Indian. You're one of a great global community. So, when you're a scientist, you're not just an Indian. You're one of a great global community. So, when you're a scientist, you're not just an Indian. You're one of a great global community. विविध देशों में ले, है स्पेन, यूके, आयरलैंड, हॉलैंड, है यूरोप में ले देश, ताइवान, मेक्सिको, सीरिया, इंडिया, सभी ऐसे जगह जगह खंडा में धुन, है वैज्ञानिक कितने काम करता है? So those are some of the issues I want to address for young people. For instance, people don't understand what science is in the media. I'm sorry that that screen is not working. Can you see this screen over there? A little bit. Here is a, the image of a mad scientist. Can we shake off that mad media image? And who is responsible? Do you know who this is? Do you know what he did? Ah, well, you're wrong. He didn't do it. He's an imposter. It wasn't him. It was him. Young Einstein. It was someone your age. He was a young man. Okay. It's young people like you in the audience. Einstein was 17 when he first started to think about what it would be like to travel at the velocity of light. Unfortunately, we got this guy. 
and he's a Scientologist. Darwin, when he wrote this fantastic book, we changed our whole view of who we are, what we are, and our relationship with animals. It was a young man, Charlie, Charlie 24 years old, Maxwell. Uh, uh, I the famous uh, show Lovely. They want to. After Einstein's just just the photo in this time, Einstein's this time. But they want to show Lovely. They want matter to actually the rule that. Okay. Uh, 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 बदलना Okay. Maxwell, he wasn't like this with a long beard when he created these equations. These are the equations of electromagnetism. Every time you use your mobile phone, you prove that Maxwell was correct. These equations govern lasers, they govern mobile phones and television and our microphones. Mind you, they're not working very well. <laughs> But that's not Maxwell's fault. <laughs> but he was wee Jamie, a young man with a little whiff on the top of his head. He was a young man when he created those fantastic breakthroughs. Maxwell, to me, but the way the Haviki Akrava Jimulani now at Lassil, Maxwell, a key question, Akrava Rila, a hit puller. And he, but Java Maxwell, he famous equation, did he? He Maxwell equation. प्रत्येक घड़े आप लेवा लेजर्स पसुन मोबाइल फोन पसुन माइक्स पसुन सभी घड़े आप लेवा मैक्सिमल इक्वेशन की गरज लगते आप पर ही माइक मैक्सिमल इक्वेशन के बाद अंदरी तो वहाँ तो एक्चुअली खूब करुण होता जैसे यार फोटो फोटो दिस तो रॉसलिन दिस ब्यूटीफुल पिक्चर ऑफ रॉसलिन फ्रैंकलिन दिस यंग वुमन हु टुक द मोस्ट the most beautiful image in the whole of science is this pattern, the X-ray pattern of DNA, which led to the, our understanding of the double helix. We now understand. You get this here photo with it. Pinne ka pinne ka dilna photo DNA cha DNA ki cha X-ray photo. Ha, visa visa kar kar sarvat changla photo apnella samantai. Karan ya photo with it apnella DNA ki rachna kashiya hai pehle na karu dalo. आणि पच्चावरुन अपल अपन डीएनए सा डीएनए जब अभ्यास के अभ्यास की प्रगति के लिए है ती प्रगति से कोई यहाँ फोटोग्राफ मुझे शुरुआत जिले से मना हरकत नहीं। We now understand our relationship with animals through that photograph. Chandrasekhar was a young man of 24 when he worked out that a star one and a half times the mass of the sun would collapse into a black hole. He wasn't an old guy like me with no hair and grey. He was a young guy with handsome black hair. Chandrasekhar, Subhrayavad Chandrasekhar, Bharati Shastra, the first time I was born, I was born in the first time 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 I was born in the first time. चंद्रशेखर ने जहाँ चंद्रशेखर लिमिट से काम किया था, तो वहाँ 
तो देखी पंचवीस तरुण होता अपने आज का जी फोटो जाती फोटो दिता फोटो दिता Science, what is it? Well, science is knowledge about the world, about the universe. Science is that culture which created this that I showed you: mobile phones and television, and anesthetics, and GM foods. Many of these things are involved. But now I'm going to tell you what I think is the most important thing I'm going to tell you today. Some of you may not like it, but I don't care. I'm going to tell you anyway. <laughs> Science is the only way we know to decide whether something is true with any degree of reliability. I'm going to say it again. Science is not a very good word. It's a philosophy of truth. The only way we know. To decide whether something is true with any degree of reliability. With upper Vignan, Vignan Munjaka, Yuasa Prophet Jarato, Barajan of Paris, Vigor of Vakadita, Kaimata, Vignan Munjay, Nanaka Shakahi, Vignan Hills of Sutiahi, as an unequivocal but then Sangilado. But by any of you at the Vignaji Vakadili, Ki Vignan, he eco Gustashiahi. जिन्हें अपन सत्य तो शोध की शक्त हो साथ आसान नहीं बनता कि पूर्ण संपूर्ण सत्य विज्ञान ने में आपने शोध ताई तो पर साधारण बने आपने आपने खातिरी पढ़ो शक्ति पर इंतज़ार दी थोड़ा फार लेबल सत्य अपन फक्त विज्ञान जब साइन शोध शक्त हो बाकी कुछ ही साइन साइन कुछ ही गुस्ती नहीं अपन and I say, I'm Harry Croto. The guy doesn't say, oh, so you are, because he doesn't know. He asks for evidence. And what do I have? I have my passport. <laughs> and he looks at it very carefully. And he looks to see my name is the name there. He won't accept that I'm Harry Croto without my passport, without evidence. Why do you believe anything without evidence? Ask yourself this. Because without evidence, anything goes. Anything. This is the most important thing I'm going to tell you. Because 92% of scientists, of the best scientists, accept nothing without evidence. And that's the most important thing I'll tell you today. जब हम अपन कुछ सही काम करने ला सरकारी कार्य ला जातो ते वहाँ पर तुमसे तो नाम का है पत्ता का है प्रत्येक कोष्टी से तुम चकरे प्रूफ मांगी जाता है फिर तुम्ही तो हम संगीत लग की माझा नाम अमुक है यानी मैं अमकेन कंड है तो मनुष्य का तो लगे से तुम जैसे थोड़ा तो करना ही पत्ते पत्ते तो प्रूफ दिया टेलीफोन बि� प्रत्येक गोष्टी पुरावा मांगी इतना गिलास पाएगी आनी तेज वैधनी कर रहा है सर मैक्सिमम वैधनी अगली सगड़े से तो भाई तेज मनाल नहीं और सब पर सर ऑलमोस्ट सगड़े वैधनी है उनके लिए तो लक्षण होता है कि पुरावे शिवाय कुछ नहीं गोष्टी उनका दी इश्वास वैधनी Now how many of you know about this match? Was it a goal? How do you know? Well. Was it a goal? There's the evidence. Without that photograph, very few people would accept either one with. They would make it say, yes, I think it was or not. With this image, we know it was a goal. Evidence. And I am not interested in anything you tell me that's very important, either to you or to anybody else, without evidence. And I want you to remember that. That differentiates me from the vast majority of people in the world. He match कितने जाने मुझे दिन में खूब कमी है तो वर्दी के लिए पर अपने क्रिकेट टीम डिजर्व भक्त हो क्रिकेट टीम के अपन अपने रिप्लेस दिस सर इखान अपन उस रनआउट आए कि नहीं अपन भक्त हो कि टीम का यह होता है रिप्लेस मुझे जाकूता 
जेव्हा पर्यंत आपण बॅट हवीत असते आणि स्टम्प उडाले असतात तेव्हा आपण तेव्हा तिकडे फ्रेम फ्रीज केले जाते आणि दाखवलं जातं की हा बघा मी याचा अर्थ हा नक्की आउट आहे पण तसंच हा एकदा आपला आणि तो पुरावा बघितल्यानंतर आपला विश्वास बसतो नाही हा आउट आहे किंवा हा आउट नाही आहे तसंच आणि मग दुसरं कोणी तुम्हाला सांगितलं नाही नाही काही जण तरी तुझं नॉट आउट आहे तरी तुमचा विश्वास बसणार नाही कारण तुम्ही तो पुरावा समोर बघितलेला आहे आणि फुटबॉलच्या मॅचचं एक्झाम्पल ते घेऊन देऊन तेच सांगितलं की त्यांनी ही मॅच बघितली असेल की तो बॉल ऍक्च्युली गोलच्या आत गेला होता पण रेफरीने तो गोल दिला नाही ते आणि त्या पण टीव्हीवर लाखो लोकांनी पुरावा बघितला की तो ऍक्च्युली गोल होता त्यामुळे जरी लोकांना काही सांगितलं तरी त्यांना विश्वास आता वेगळा विश्वास बसणार नाही कारण त्यांनी टीव्हीवर बघितले स्वतः डोळ्यांनी tells me that the sun goes round the earth. Who agrees with me? <laughs> yes. In the morning, wherever it is over here, there's the sun is here, and then the, it goes over this, and it goes round there. Let me show you again. Common sense tells us that the sun goes round the earth. It's uncommon sense. That tells us the reason it appears to be that is the earth is turning on its axis. Now then, how many people know what the evidence is for this? कारण मी रोज सकाळी सूर्याला उगवताना बघतो संध्याकाळी मावळताना बघतो परत उगवताना बघतो मी सूर्य नक्की पृथ्वीवरती फिरतोय त्याला आपण कॉमन सेन्स म्हणू पण आपण विज्ञान शिकलेलो आहोत की नाही ऍक्च्युली आपल्याला तसं दिसत वाटत कारण पृथ्वी स्वतःच्या अक्षाभोवती फिरतीये त्याच्यामुळे आपल्याला सूर्य उगवताना मावळताना दिसतो इथपर्यंत ठीक आहे पण किती जणांना ह्याचा पुरावा काय ते माहितीये हा दोर करा बघू Okay, now then. Nobody put their hand up to say they knew the evidence, so you accepted it from your teacher. Now I tell you go and look at the evidence. What was the evidence that Copernicus and Galileo came to the conclusion that it is actually the earth goes round the sun, that the sun is the center. That is the best explanation on the basis of evidence. And it comes back to truth. It comes back to asking, how do we know that something is true? And we must be very careful to question everything. And all claims should be based on evidence. It may take a long time to overcome the power of dogma. In the case of Galileo, 359 years before it was accepted in 1992 by the Catholic Church. So those are the issues. The problem is nonsense is common now. Uh so then he said that Galileo and Copernicus and he came to this idea that the earth is not the earth, but the earth is not the earth, but the earth is not the earth, but the earth is not the earth. So they had a lot of trust. They had a lot of trust. They had a lot of trust. They had a lot of evidence. They had a lot of evidence. आणि त्या त्यावेळी त्याला इतका त्रास झाला की कोपर्ने गॅलिओला चर्चने त्यावेळी शिक्षा केली होती आणि चर्चला पैकी त्यांची चूक ऍक्सेप्ट करायला फक्त तीनशे एकोणसाठ वर्ष लागली ओके हाव डिड आय गॅच हे आय वॉज इज यंग इज सम यू इन दी ऑडियन्स बिलीव इट ऑन नॉट ओके यु नो आय वॉन्ट टू बी सुपरमॅन I, I took a piece of paper and I put a big S on it and pinned it on. And I had this, my mother took this photograph. The problem is, I couldn't fly. <laughs> so I had to do something else. So I played tennis. And I wanted to be Wimbledon champion. जेव्हा ते लहान होते तेव्हा इतरांसारखं त्यांना ही सुपरमॅन व्हावं असं वाटलं पण मग त्यांना कळलं की आपल्या उडताणं शक्य नाही मग ते जेव्हा अजून थोडं मोठं झालं टेनिस खेळायला लागले तेव्हा त्यांची अर्थात नेक्स्ट इच्छा होती आपण विमंडन मध्ये खेळावं चॅम्पियन व्हावं 
I did gymnastics. Okay. Then gymnastics killer. Gymnastics tennis mode tennis gymnastics But I played when I was at school, I was in a play, Henry V. And I thought I'd show you this photograph. I'm the handsome guy on the right, by the way, just in case you were not sure. But I always say, tell young people of your age on here that you should do science and not become an actor like the guy in front. The guy in front became a, a famous actor. We were in the same year. But you know, he's a lot older. He's 5,000 years old now. Yes, Gandalf. I'm much younger than he is. And Magneto. We were in the same year at school. So there you go. Now the other take home message for you young people is if you go to university, when you go, do other things. Ian McKellen and I were in the same year. He went to university to read English, but he went and acted whilst he was there and became an actor. I did all, played tennis and many other things at university. And here's a picture of Ian McKellen. He visited us in Florida last year and came to work with the drama school. But my favorite thing is not science. Uh, gymnastics is not a good thing. It's 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 not इंग्लिश शिकायलिश मध्य डिग्री करती नाटक की आवड़ लगे आज एक्टर है When I went to university and certainly at school, I, did, I used to draw and do posters. Uh, and I did the covers of the student magazine. I was art editor. I got this into a, an international annual of graphic design. These were the covers, my own book jacket. And my first award was not for science. It was for this design. For a book jacket, and believe it or not, I used to look like this. Now, many of you are young and beautiful now, but you'll be old and decrepit like me one day. So enjoy your youth whilst you may, because some of my colleagues in this same audience who are about my age will tell you it will not last. But okay, Penny, I was going to say that you have a house, and you have a magazine, and you have a magazine, and you have a magazine, and you I do logos. This is for a buckyball workshop in Australia. These are some logos that I've done recently. And uh, here, oh, I redesigned the Japanese flag. Okay. This is a stamp I designed for the Nobel Centenary, and these are some drawings. Oh, I don't know what that is, I guess. Uh, this is my wife, Margaret, who was responsible for my coming here, and this is a drawing of Stockholm Town Hall. Okay. I did, had Meccano and I did photography and we ended up 
and I thought to say a little bit about my science. I started off looking at molecules and my favorite molecule is not C60, it's this one, nitrosoethane, because it looks like this. Now, what does anybody, does it look like anything to anybody? Shout out what you think it is. A dog. You're right. It's my dog. Made of carbon, hydrogen, nitrogen, and oxygen. It's been drinking, that's why it's got a red nose. My dog, it shakes its head and looks at its tail. कार्बन नाइट्रोजन ऑक्सीजन my dog's rather clever. First of all, it can do this with its back legs. I told you it's been drinking, and if you're a dog that's been drinking, you know what the problem is. And the most important thing, if you're a dog and you've been drinking a bit, you look around for a lamppost. Okay. Now, the point is that molecules are flexible. Molecules can do things. And the next generation of young people doing chemistry and nanotechnology will exploit the ways in which molecules can move. <laughs> We made a lot of molecules in our research program in Sussex in England, but the one at the bottom with these five carbon atoms was very interesting. What we did was look for it in interstellar space. Penny, apne lab mein hai samjhoon karta na. We bade molecules bano le. Par tani ek do sakat khali jaa kora paas carbon wala molecule. Ha ha jaa kora. To sarvathne ek karan ha molecule apne khawul chhastra mein shi to sari thi thi samandhi ta hai. Ani tani aka aukasha mein hai ya molecule sapar do ka chhoda se prayatna kela. molecule rotates, it gives rise to a photon of radiation which can be detected. Let me show you. It's like your mobile phone. You detect radiation with your mobile phone at a given frequency. We can use a radio telescope to do that. And this is the radio telescope we used. And that led to an idea, an idea of whether these molecules were coming out of stars. So we took a laser and vaporized graphite and got a hot plasma of carbon. Hot molecules are here. So when we are in the world, 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 we are in the world. कदाचित 
टेस्ट लेजर घेतला लेजर ने एक ग्रेफाइट खूब तापवला कि पैकी वफ जा ग्रेफाइटेसिशली का होते कि कार्बन च एकदम गरम कार्बन का प्लाज्मा तैयार होता And I went to Rice University in Texas, and these two young students, Jim Heath and Sean O'Brien, and Chinese student Yuan Liu, we worked together, and we discovered a massively strong signal for a carbon molecule with 60 atoms, and I called it here in my drawing C60 plus question mark, C60 huge and C70 also. बरोबर काम करना तीन विद्या विद्यार्थी संशोधन करते तिघे फोटो दाखले अवकाश तरंग लंबी अभ्यास करते वेवलेन का अभ्यास करते अशा तरंग लंबी मिला ज्यादा तरंग लंबी तरह एक्सप्लेन करता शक्य हो जर एखाद कार्बन का मॉलिक्यूल अल ज्यादे कार्बन से साठ अणु बसते तो अधिक न प्रश्नोटी and we have this fantastic signal but we went to this restaurant unfortunately it wasn't an indian restaurant it was a mexican restaurant now there are two countries who serve the hottest food in the galaxy and they're india and mexico anyway we sat at this table and thought about hexagons and globes the buckminster fuller's dome and this model that i made for my children and we came to the conclusion that the explanation was that the carbon molecule had the shape of a soccer ball they that they ha graph jo mante nahi utra mila jante the ek restaurant me gele ek mexican restaurant me the basle basle ek chakra tali hoti ki kuchya prakar cha ashi rachna asa vi jay carbon te 60 anu apan ekatra jodu shakto ani mo vichar karta karta na asa vatla ki he इतनी एक्जाम्पल दाखिल की प्रकार मधुबनी जो पोल बो मधुबनी पोल सारख गोल बनवला गोला गोला मध्य अपने कितनी कार्बन चढ़ता मग शेवटी फुटबॉल सारा अपन कार्बन चढ़ी कल्पना सुचली Let's do that again with some sound. How small is a buckyball? Let's shrink the earth down by 100 million, 10 to the 8. You get something the size of a soccer ball. A soccer ball is 100 million times smaller than the earth. The जो नवीन अणु शोधला तो कि छोटा है कल्पना विचार करू कि आपकी पृथ्वी जी है सहा हजार चारशे किलोमीटर रेडियस जी पृथ्वी तीन आप जर का दहा आठवा घात कि दहा कोटी पटी ने लहान के लिए दहा कोटी पटी लहान के लिए तीन की साइज आकार साधारण एखाद फुटबॉल इतना हो is 100 million times bigger than a soccer ball now then let's shrink the football down by the same amount 100 million that's the size of the bucky ball jar ka apan te football la tevdas tevdas poti ne lahan gele 10 koti poti ne football la lahan gele tar aplyala te bucky ball ki size milte bucky ball te ne anul dil naav hai and that's the last fundamental constant Okay. Let's do that again with sound. We 
we didn't expect it. People, young people, very often, quite often in India, they come and ask me, how do you win a Nobel Prize? I don't know. I tell them, I didn't do science to win the Nobel Prize. I didn't do science to win any prizes. I did science because I was good at it. I liked it. I felt I was better at graphic art and design, but I was earning a living. I was teaching young people, and we were doing research. And in one of the most un-sort of expected moments, this molecule turned out. And suddenly, people thought it was important, and ultimately, we ended up with the Nobel Prize. <laughs> ते This is a design for the logo of Shandha. This is a design for the logo of Shandha. But the vidyanath is satisfied with the logo of Shandha. And the vidyanath is satisfied with the logo of Shandha. And the vidyanath is important. The Nobel Prize is important. The Nobel Prize is important. The Nobel Prize is important. Now, I'm going to say a little bit about 20th century science, and chemistry in particular. Do you like the sound? There are nanotubes in, and buckyballs, but nanotechnology is self-assembly. Can we do with chemistry? Can we make something complicated by chemistry? Chemical assembly. Well, let's look at what that means. Genetic engineering by human beings. This animal, without any knowledge of DNA, has been made into a chihuahua. With DNA, our knowledge of DNA, we can probably do it in one step. It took thousands of years to make the wolf <coughs> gradually by breeding into the dog, the many dogs, and also the chihuahuas. With DNA, we might be able to do it in one step. We might be able to make a human being into a chihuahua. In fact, there are quite a number of human beings that I think we should make into chihuahuas. <laughs> Especially some politicians I can think of. We application कुत्रे आपस सुन हरू हरू जगह तक सरकार छोटा कुत्रा जला मंडल चिहु चिहा हा तेर इतपर अंत आपन प्रगति के ले लिया है आ मुझे लोकनीस आठ प्रयत्न करूँ करूँ हाँ ठीक है आपला कुत्रे मानसरोवर चाहिए पंजरा लाहान कुत्रा पाई चाहिए मा आ आ विगुले प्रयोग करनी है अच्छी उगला आपन जेनरेटिक इंजीनियरिंग ने तो एका एका अपने हवेली साइज में नहीं करता ही, मां आपन पर मानसा पर मानसा जर का हवेली लाहान मोटी हवेली तीसी कर जाते हो। In America, I sometimes see a car with a bumper sticker which says, "My son is a very clever at some school," and then there's another car which says, "My Chihuahua is smarter than your son." अमेरिके में थे पर असब एक 
पद्धत है कि तुम्हारा गाड़ी के नंबर ऐवजी कभी कभी जर का तुम्हारा तुम्हें रिक्वेस्ट के लिए तो वेग नंबर प्लेटी लाता है कभी कभी सर स्टीकर दिखा गाड़ी पर कि माझा मुलगा अमक अमक खेल जो तो खूब हुशार है मैं दुसर पर दुसर गाड़ी पर नंबर स्टीकर आतो कि कुत्रा जो मुला जाती हुशार है A good definition of nanoscience and nanotechnology is atom by atom, molecule by molecule assembly of a complex of functional system. All right? It's bottom-up assembly by chemistry. Atom by atom, molecule by molecule, assembly of a functional system. If you're happy with that definition, the best example of nanotechnology is you. because you've been built atom by atom molecule by molecule protein by protein nucleotide by nucleotide into a human being a complex organism bottom up assembly hello apan the nanotechnology kya nano sciences vyakhya karala gelo apan ase sopi vyakhya karu shakto ki प्रत्येक अणु प्रत्येक रेणु हलूह एकत्र करत करत अपन एक स्ट्रक्चर बांधत गेलो अखी ती अखा जो शिल्प तैयार होनोटेक्नोलॉजी आप जर का व्याख्या मान्य के लिए तो आप शरीर अपन स्वतः हे नानोटेक्नोलॉजी खूब चांगल उदाहरण है कारण आप शरीर तो अल प्रत्येक अणु हेलो हाँ अपने शरीर खूब चांग उदाहरण है प्रत्येक कुछ सा अणु कुछ अणु बरबर गेला कुछ सा रेणु कुछ अणु बरबर बढ़ला गेला I'm going to the last part of what I want to talk about. And your world is very different from mine when I was young. You're very lucky because you got the internet. Now let me explain to you. How many of you have looked at an encyclopedia? This week. <laughs> All right. I call it your world, the Goo You Wiki world. Google, YouTube, and Wikipedia have changed it. The Goo You Wiki world is quite different from mine. For instance, let's look at an Encyclopedia Brit Britannica picture of the Buckyball. It's not that wonderful, not too imaginative. In fact, it's probably the most boring picture of our molecule you could think of. Well, go to Google and put any of those in, C60, Buckyball, or Fullery, and what you get are pages and pages, and 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 pages, and, pages, and, pages, and, pages, and, pages, and even rotating Buckyballs. That's fantastic. It's a revolution, a revolution that you should take and grasp in your hands. What sort of revolution? A triple revolution. Google allows you to find any information. You've got to be careful. Look at that information carefully. Assess whether it's true or false. A lot of that is false information. They're lies. Well, look at the evidence. Assess it for yourself. YouTube. You can make your own programs. You don't need Hollywood or Bollywood or the television channels. You can make your own programs, the ones you want to make. And Wikipedia allows you to put on a page of what you personally really are an expert in. And we can work together. As we're working from Florida with universities in the USA, and Japan. And the UK. 
Uruguay and Brazil and Croatia and hopefully here in India too. आज जी पीढ़ी जी है ती आधी जी बजे पे सब खूब बेगली है आधी जी पीढ़ी विश्वकोश बगाए जी आज आज अपन विश्वकोश लाइब्रेरी में कुछ आज तो हेल्प करते हैं माइंडिंग आज है और पर आज जी पीढ़ी ला तीन मोहते ही साथ ना अपने हाथ पर है गूगल यूट्यूब और इसकी पीढ़ियाँ सगाने ही तीन ही नाम आए के लिए � एक पालन महिती यानी एक चित्र हो रहे थे अपने दिस्तर अब तीन कुछ टाइम पर गूगल ने हजार लेट ली तो अपना हजारों पालन की महिती यानी हजारों चित्र बन जाता है विभिन्न प्रकार की विभिन्न रंगाती सगल बन जाता है गूपन गूगल वापर था ना एक कुछ टाइम पर नशा खेली पाई है कि इंटरनेट पर मेंडाली इतर लोग इतर लोगों को लोगों ने अपलोड के लिए वीडियो बहुत जगता है तो से सपाते वीडियोस बनवून के टाइप हो जगता है विकी प्रिया वर तुम्हें क्या विषय तुम्हारा मार्क कर माइटिया है क्या विषय जो माइटी तुम्हें लोगों ने फोन सूझ जगता अरे ऐसा अख्या जगह तुम की माइटी बड़ा हो तो हो � if you would like to learn how I do and give my lectures with a computer, then you can find a lecture like this on our Geoset site. Geoset. G-E-O-S-E-T. I'm going to give you this again if you're interested. We have little presentations of algebra for small children. But we've also got students making presentations. And the first student that I recorded with our project was an Indian student, Prajna. And I want to show you this. Oh, oh sorry, I've already got it. But let's see whether it comes again, okay? graduates talking about beetles and Kerry talking about his chemistry and students talking about wolves but this is the important message for you young people our students are getting jobs and scholarships and postdocs. Kerry has got a Fulbright scholarship to Italy. Steve Aqua, he won 
a, us for our Geoset program. He made a little program of this Geoset program, and we got a, a, an award for it. Prajna, she was the first student, and I thought, why don't you make a presentation for young kids in high school? So they know what they can do when they go to university. Get them excited about the science they could do and what you're doing. And about three weeks later, after she made this wonderful presentation, she asked me for a reference for a postdoctoral fellowship in California. And she got it straight away because I put the URL so the people in California could see her on the internet. This is a new way of getting a job. आणि हे जे विद्यार्थी आहेत प्रज्ञा एक होती बाकी जे दाखवले त्या सगळ्यांनी कॉन्ट्रीब्यूट केलं आणि सगळे हुशार विद्यार्थी आहेत त्यांना स्कॉलरशिप मिळून इंटरव्ह्यूला गेला एकाने ह्या ह्या अशा प्रोजेक्ट बद्दल एक फिल्म बनवली त्याला बक्षीस मिळालं प्रज्ञाचा हा जो व्हिडिओ होता त्यानंतर तिने जेव्हा इतर ठिकाणी अप्लाय केलं पुढच्या कामासाठी तेव्हा त्यांनी Brittany got into medical school, and as you see there, the presentation was the defining factor in her being taken into the medical school. Jeff, he said, I think it helped me get a position. And Artree's one of my students. She went down for an interview at the, at the governor's office, and she was told how much they enjoyed seeing her on the internet in their presentation when she went to the interview. Your world. is changing very rapidly unless you make a presentation of your work on the internet in the future uh, within two or three years it will be inevitable you got to learn how to do it aple jag badalde hai to hi mulgi je ti jeva ek nokri che interview gali hoti tevha interview ghyan sangitla are mo tumcha presentation ami internet vr baghitla amhala khup avadla ani aata purcha jag asa asnar hai आज नाही पण पुढच्या दोन तीन वर्षात एक परिस्थिती येईल की तुम्ही जे काही काम करताय तुम्ही इंटरनेट वर प्रेझेंट करणं हे थोडंफार आपण कंपल्सरी कंपल्सरी असं म्हणणार नाही पण अत्यावश्यक होणार नक्कीच आहे Well look if you get your students to record either on YouTube or using our method you can sit down and have a beer and watch them it's a delight not only that as Margaret reminds me our students when they did their project and recorded it they were 10 times more enthusiastic about their project than they were before. It was fantastic. It's amazing. You get them to do a recording and suddenly they want to be film stars, but they want to do a really good project. So, think about it. The resume, instead of being in the middle of this pile, right? And I try, I have to go through this and work out whether you're any good or not. You send me a picture and a film of you presenting this. It's a big change in the world. And coming to the last thing I want to say. Our world is very dangerous. I am a scientist, but first and foremost, I'm a human being. And I'm worried. I mean, are there are several organizations, such as the International Network of Engineers and Scientists for Global Responsibility. We don't need any more atomic bombs. How many people in the audience wants a to atomic bomb? Who wants an atomic bomb? Anybody? Nobody. How come 
we elect politicians in Britain, America, and really regretfully for me, because I, I really would have hoped the spirit of Gandhi would still be here, and India could have shown the world, shown Iran and Pakistan and Korea the way not to build atomic bombs. If only you'd done that, I think we wouldn't be still going. You could have shown the British as you kicked us out of here and shown them how to behave in this technological world. Try to do a U-turn. We're trying to do the same with the British government. Obama is the first American politician to try to reduce the number of atomic bombs. For that one thing alone, I think he's a great man. Only that. That alone would be making so. If you're a chemist, we don't need any more napalm. And if you're an engineer, we don't need any more landmines. We don't need to blow the legs of little kid, kiddies anymore. We've got enough problems in our world. So if you become an engineer or a scientist, don't work on these things. आज आपले जगह जगह समोर अनेक प्रॉब्लम्स आहे आप जब हम अपन विज्ञान वैज्ञानिक की वाणी में मुझे काम करतो तो वहाँ यह कुछ इतना प्रोजेक्ट के लिए पहले कि आपले समझने का उपयोग कैसा होना रहे जगह तो कोई फिजिक्स में काम करता है मी अवधु समझने का डर बताते हैं कोई एटॉमिक बम बनाने का उपयोग करता रासायनिक बॉम्ब्स जैसे साथ नापाम साथ के बॉम्ब्स तो पच्चीस लाख दे तुम्हारे टाइटा ही इतने जो है कि तुम्हें जैसे प्रोजेक्ट में काम कर रहे हैं अंदर तो हमारे प्रत्येक वो इंजीनियर्स लैंडमाइंस इंजीनियर्स रात ये जो है टाइटा टाइटा है ना नहीं तो हमारे प्रत्येक प्रोजेक्ट में काम करता ना आप The greatest man I knew personally in the last few years, he was 97 when he died, was Joseph Rotblatt. He was the only scientist to resign from the Manhattan Project, the project that created the atomic bomb. He resigned before it was completed and when it was clearly not necessary. They, uh जोसेफ रॉटब्लेट से तो एग्जाम्पल उदाहरण दे दे इकड़े अमेरिका जहाँ वहाँ अड़ूवा मरवाद होती एकोनिशे एकोनिशे परसेंट पंचाइस परसेंट तक सहा वर्ष तक तो प्रोजेक्ट साल होता आणि सभी कई समय से कर ला होता कि आप लोग अड़ूवा की गरज नहीं है जहाँ भीती ने अड़ूवा मरवाद होते थे भीती ये बात आता नहीं ह I want to read from his Nobel address. He was an outstanding physicist and he won the Nobel Peace Prize for his work with Pugwash to try to stop the building of atomic bombs. It's a wonderful address. Go and look it up on the Nobel website. We appeal as human beings to human beings. Remember your humanity and forget the rest. Jamaat Jose Rodriguez na ni pagwash travel sari kille ka bande na Nobel Shantata Purushkar mila tha. Pagwash hi oyda nikal ni nirman kille chawal hai. Aur alubam se nirmiti aur alubam se prasad thamore sari. Aur yeh travel ka Purushkar mila tha. Tema Jose Rodriguez na dhikshe hote. Aur yani kya bhashna tha sab mandla hota ki ek manus bolun. सर्व इतर मनसान आमिया सब आवाहन कर दो कि तुम की मानुष की वक्त आठवा और बाकी सब लोग सुन दा। If you can do so, the way lies open to a new paradise. If you cannot, there lies before you the risk of universal death. 
जर तुम्ही हे करू शकलात तर आपण इथे नवीन स्वर्ग निर्माण करू शकू आणि जर का तुम्हाला हे करता आलं नाही तर जगाचा अंत फार दूर नाही The quest for a war free world has a basic purpose survival but if in the process we learn to achieve it by love rather than by fear by kindness rather than by compulsion if in the process we learn to combine the essential with the enjoyable the expedient with the benevolent the practical with the beautiful this will be an extra incentive to embark on this great task above all remember your humanity abla i asa jag pahije jikade yuddha hou nahi ani te ashe sari hove ki apla apla vinash hou nahi mhanun apla yuddha nako asa vatta pan ya asha jaga ki yuddha nas yuddha naslya jaga nirmiti bha म्हणजे लोक भीतीने होण्यापेक्षा जर का समजुतीने झाली जर का एकमेकांचा आपण विचार केला तर असं अशा जगात जगाची निर्मिती आपल्या कितीतरी फायद्याची ठरू शकेल आणि ओके जर का तुम्ही इतर इतरांना त्रास होऊ नये कि किंवा इतरांचं नुकसान होऊ नये ह्या विचाराने जर का तुम्ही ठरवलं की आजपासून युद्ध करणार नाही तर तर ते ह्या कल्पनेला काही अर्थ आहे कारण जर का तुम्ही असं म्हणालात की मला मला सध्या भीती वाटते म्हणून सध्या मी जाहीर करतो की मी युद्ध करणार नाही उद्या जर का तुम्हाला भीती वाटणारी नाही झाली लगेच तुम्ही पण युद्धात द्यावा त्याचा काही उपयोग नाही आपण अशा जगात निर्मिती केली पाहिजे की असे इतरांच्या इतरांच्या काळजीने आपण पुढे प्रगती केली पाहिजे आणि असं केलं तर तो एक आणखीन वेगळा फायदा असेल जगाच्या निर्मितीसाठी आणि शेवटी पण त्याने शेवट त्यांनीच केला की सगळ्यात कधीही आपल्या माणुसकीला स्वतःच्या आतल्या माणुसकीला विसरू नका physics nobel prize winner in 1988 sent me an email a couple of months ago he said harry you see a lot of young people please read this out to them so many years have passed and the human race is still saddled with enough nuclear weapons to destroy the planet we must redouble our efforts to unify the science community against this huge stupidity leon lederman jana 1988 sali nobel cha physics nobel milala tanni kahi aapla guriye tanne email lela hota ki tumhi evdya thikane jaun bhashna deta ani khup tarun manasanna bhetta तरुण मुलांना भेटतात त्यांना हे सांगा की इतकी वर्ष झाली अनुभव निर्मिती करून पण आपला मूर्खपण अजून संपलेला नाहीये आपण अजूनही त्याच्या मागे लागलेलो आहोत आणि ह्याच्यात अजून काही निष्पन्न होणार नाही फक्त जगाचा नाश होणार आहे तर आपण कुठेतरी हे थांबवलं पाहिजे आणि आपली ही पुढची पिढी जी आहे ती पिढी त्या पिढीला काम करायचं आहे Lightweight Steve Aqua Sam Rustem I think he took this photograph because he wants to be on Baywatch and Penny Gilmer But in fact the reason I'm here is that Margaret decided we ought to come to India So if you don't like this lecture it's her fault but if you do it's her fault as well Thank you very much